Yeah. And then, so we were going to talk today about responding to the sexual revolution. Right. And I was watching one of your talks online and you were talking about the three big ideas that kind of mm -hmm. came out of it. And I believe it was contraception, divorce, and gender ideology. That's right. That's so can right. you just talk a little bit about those three and why as like we need to be able to respond to those as pro-lifers and as Catholics? Right, right, right. right. Well, I, I lay it all out in the book, The Sexual State. Okay. And I originally developed that three-part uh, typology, I guess you'd say. Um, in debating the whole question of the definition of marriage. Because from about 2008 to about 2013, I was out and about debating gay marriage at law schools and other places on a regular basis, you know. And a lot of times I'd show up and I'd be the only person on the campus <laughs> that agreed with me. There'd be like the three kids from the Federalist Society who invited me and that's it. You know, everybody else was, you know, 100% convinced that gay marriage is the right thing. But, and, and I figured out in the course of that, that in their minds, they had already redefined marriage. See, they had already defined marriage as being essentially sterile, right? That there's no necessary connection between sex and babies, right? Well, that's the contraceptive ideology right there. And you all at Human Life International have been stalwarts on that point, understanding that to be pro-life is to be extremely concerned, not just about abortion, but also about con the contraception and the contraceptive ideology that really feeds into abortion. You know, it's the feeder system <laughs> um, for abortion. But, but the idea that sex should be separated from babies, right, that is a very powerful idea. And everybody I was seeing on these law school campuses had already hadn't thought about that in 10 years, right? You know, they never thought about it. It's like, oh, that's so obvious, you know, that, that you get to have an active sex life without ever worrying about a baby, you know? That's the way people think. So you go in and say, you know, we need to have a, a robust institution of marriage to attach children to their parents, and people don't know what you're talking about, you know? Um, so the contraceptive ideology is a big, is a big part of it. It's a good society should separate sex from babies, right? That's what they think.